Praise God. This is Pastor Jim, and I have this week's five-minute challenge for you. The title of this challenge is Go to Class. Now, you might be thinking, I'm out of school. That years pass, but you still have a class to go to. And I'm going to tell you, from a scriptural standpoint, what it is. We're going to be reading in John chapter 14. Now, this was when Jesus was talking to his disciples for the last time before his crucifixion. And in John chapter 14, in verse 26, he says, he's talking about the Holy Spirit. He's talking about how the Holy Spirit's going to come, how he's going to send him. He's going to be a comforter. He's going to be an advocate. But he also says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. So notice that. He said, he will teach you all things. And in a class, you have a teacher and you have students. And the Holy Spirit here, Jesus is saying, he will be your teacher, which means we have a part here to play to come to class, to get in class, to go to him as a teacher. Now, when I was going to school, there were sometimes I wasn't, even if I was present in class, I wasn't really there. I wasn't really paying attention. I had my mind elsewhere. There were times when I was in college, I would just skip class. There was times that I wanted to watch a, a, a baseball game. So I would just skip class and watch the game, game. Because I've set a higher priority on what I wanted to do than what I, could, what I foresaw that I could get out of the class. Now it's the same thing. Here we have the Holy Spirit of God that wants to teach us, that is willing to teach us. But notice also, he didn't say he would tell you all things. He will teach you all things, which means that we have a responsibility in this transaction. We have to become teachable. We have to be willing to receive that instruction. We have to be able to go to class and be attentive to our teacher. Now, it's said different times that I've heard where a teacher can make an impact in a student's life. A student will be going into, into, through, through education and they'll say there's one teacher that really stands out, that one teacher that really made an impact, that really directed their future, really changed their life. And here we have that teacher, the Holy Spirit of God, that is willing, whose task it is to teach us. And he says he'll teach us all things. That means re regardless of what area that, that we have. We may have needs or need an understanding more of an area of healing, relationships, finances. Here is the Holy Spirit of God that wants to teach, but we have to be able to be receptive to his teaching. We have to be able to, to give our attention to that. We have to be able to put a importance on what's being said. We also have to be able to be willing to be taught. In other words, you can be uh, in a class and say, ah, I know this already. I already know this. And here we have the master teacher, the Holy Spirit, that wants to share the truth of God's word with us so that we don't have to rely on the world's wisdom because the world's wisdom, brothers and sisters, is failing. The world system is not going to stand. And the world system is contrary to what the word of God says and what the word of God is for us. So what I really want to do is I want to challenge you today to go to class, to to put your heart in a place where you're willing to receive from the teacher, from the teacher, from the, the, the one who is most experienced in your heart, who wants to touch you in your heart, who wants to lead you, who wants to do good for you, who wants you to be everything that God has called you to be. He is for you and not against you. He is your teacher. And just like in class, when you're, when you're going to a test and you're thinking, now what was that? What was that? You say, what did the teacher say? A lot of times we'll say, what did Holy Spirit say? But it can be said the same way. Well, what did the teacher say? And you can put yourself back into that remembrance. Once you come into a test or into a, a trial or into a need, you say, what did the teacher say? What did the teacher? Have that relationship so close with your teacher, the Holy Spirit, that you can draw on him. And that's my challenge to you this week.